check it out. That's what we're doing. You go ahead and open it up. Check it out. Make sure everything's right. You want that open up? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got it. Okay. All right. Uh, brother Mossad from Chicago camp out here visiting with the brothers in Louisiana. First off, we're going to say all praises to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai Bashem, Kakabash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, and salutations to the hopeful elect that are scattered throughout the four corners of the earth. All right, so we're going to talk about Jake, all right, and how Jake uh, is contentious and he's on these platforms, not knowing the scriptures, Aaron, and want to argue, all right, and, uh, you know, with the men of the Lord. Uh, as as we're doing, you know, we're, we're not teaching love, okay? But the reality is, okay, Jake don't know the Lord, all right? I'm going to start out with uh, Jeremiah 4 and 22, and it reads, for my, for my people is foolish. They have not known me. They are silent children, and they have none understanding. They are wise to do evil, but to do good, they have no knowledge, Okay? And the reality is, uh, the Lord turned the light out on their understanding, all right? So their, their heart is darkened. That's why they, they're not going to get it, all right, based off of Isaiah 29 and also uh, Isaiah 6, all right, and David's curse. Go ahead, buddy. So the back of exactly what you just said, that is hidden to him. This is 2 Corinthians 4. I'm going to start at 3. But if our gospel be hid, it is hid to them, it is hid to them that are lost. Come, come. Okay. Um, they're not meant to get it. All right. Um, so uh, John 6 and 44 says, uh, No man come unto uh, your house shot unless the Father draw. Okay. I know. You got some other one? Yeah, just one more verse for you. In whom the God of this world hath blinded the minds of them which believe not, lest the light of the glorious gospel of Hamashiach. Who is the image of the Most High should shine unto them. Yeah. And that's why Yahweh Shai always said in his ministry, he that have eyes, let him see, and he that have an ear, let him hear. All right. But it wasn't given to him. Okay. So that's why they are in darkness. Okay. Um, somebody got the Isaiah 29, 13? Got it for you. Come. This is Isaiah 29, verse 13. Wherefore the Lord said, for as much as this people draw near me with their mouth and with their lips do honor me, but have removed their heart far from me, and their fear toward me is taught by the precepts of men. Woo! And that's exactly what they're doing in the churches. Okay? Um, I, I, I've, never, I've never been so disgusted. You know, uh, black folks play with the Lord like it's a joke. Everything is a joke. Everything is funny, funny, funny. Who got that, uh, that uh, Romans 10? I got it. It's a uh, book of Romans chapter 10, verse 2. For I bear them record that they have a zeal of the Most High, but not according to knowledge. Uh, not according to knowledge. All right. You, you, you'll have a, a brother argue argue down about what the uh, the mark is or the, uh, you know, what the sea gift is. All right. And tell you what it ain't. But he don't know nothing about the captivities that Israel been in. He don't know nothing about the Apocrypha. You know what I'm saying? Don't believe the Apocrypha is real at all. Okay? And won't argue with you. All right? What else, brothers? Got? Anybody got something? Romans, Romans, real quick. Romans 11, verse 7. What then? Israel had not obtained that which he seeketh for, but the election had obtained it, and the rest were blinded. Mm. The, the, the election have obtained it and the rest was blinded. How about that Romans 8? I got something for you too. Um, I always wanted to start an 8. Uh, the uh, the uh, predestinate oh, whom he did for no for whom it's funny. This is uh, Romans chapter 8. started at 17 it says and if children and heirs and heirs of the most high and joint heirs with the mashiach uh so i can 
Is it 29? 29. Oh, come on. 29. For whom he did foreknow, he also did predestinate to be conformed to the image of his son, that he might be the firstborn among many brethren. Okay. Okay, let's see. So I can think of it. I got one for you too. And I got one too. Let me look it up. Yeah, let me just read very real quick. It says, Moreover, whom he did predestinate, them he also called. That's what I'm talking about. And whom he called, them he also justified. Mm -hmm. And whom he justified, them he also glorified. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Which is the elect. Okay. So, so this right here, all right, is, is, is planned since before the foundation of the earth, all right? Because the Lord already was working with the, with the brothers, all right? And we call that the Allah Haim, all right? Um, I got one to back up that statement you just made, too. I got to give you two Go ahead, brother. <laughs> this is uh, 1 John chapter 2, uh, verse, verse 14. I have written unto you fathers, because ye have known him that is from the beginning. I have written unto you young men, because ye are strong, and the word of the Most High abideth in you, and ye have overcome the wicked one. But, hey, but as it says, I have written unto you fathers, because ye have known him that is from the beginning. Now you just back you up. Everything's been predestinated for those to know, know the truth and have it in them. And those that don't know the truth and that have been chosen to be the scoffers and those that have been blinded by the God of this world through these times. And as you're going into this, the Elohim, the ones that were chosen from the beginning, come, the various resorts of their life, come and, right. and uh, practice, what did it, what did it say? Practice uh, uh, the true return to those that are the truth. Return to those that are the truth. You had one, brother. Mm -hmm. This is uh, Jeremiah, chapter, <clears throat> Jeremiah chapter 1, verse 4. It says, Then the word of Yahweh came unto me, saying, Before I formed thee in the belly, I knew thee. And before thou camest forth out of the womb, I sanctified thee, and I ordained thee a prophet unto the nations. You see that? And, and, and that right there, that just makes you take a deep breath and be so thankful that the Lord opened up our eyes and woke us up into this truth. Mm -hmm. uh, the, the brotherhood is a blessing, all right? Uh, in, my, in my travels, uh, if I go to a city, you know, I try to find my brothers there. You know, when I first came, came, you know, I was just trying to go on vacation, you know. I, you know but the others say, hey, when you go somewhere, you try to find out the brothers and try to fellowship with them. Um, so if you go to a so-called uh, uh, Christian, right, and you, you ask them what the gospel is, they're going to say, well, you know, Jesus Christ died for my sins, right? Jesus Christ ain't did nothing, right? That's an idol, okay? But the reality is the gospel is Luke 1 and 68, all right? It says, blessed be uh, Yahweh power of Israel, for he hath visited and redeemed his people and have raised up a horn of salvation for us in the house of his servant David, as he spake by the mouth of his holy prophets, which have been since the world began, that we should be saved from our enemies and from the hand of all that hate us. Okay, Esau taught you that he wasn't your enemy. Esau taught you that he was your neighbor. And you're supposed to love your neighbors, right? To perform the mercy promised to our fathers and to rem remember his holy covenant, the oath which he swore to our father Abraham. All right, when you, when you go into Romans, uh, the fourth chapter, um, Paul says, uh, can somebody give me Romans 4? Romans 4 1. Okay. I think it's 4 1. It's um, Romans chapter 4, and verse 1. It says, What shall we say then that Abraham, our father, as pertaining to the flesh, had found? Abraham, our father, as pertaining to the flesh. All right. So Paul, when he wrote uh, to the Romans, he said, Abraham, our father, as pertaining to the flesh. So the Romans that he wrote to were Israelites. Okay? It says, the oath which he swore to our father Abraham, that he would grant unto us that we being delivered out of the hand of our enemies might serve him without fear, in holiness and righteousness before him all the days of our life. All right? That's the gospel. <clears throat> 
All right, the gospel is, is, is we're waiting for your house side to return, all right, and deliver us from our enemies. All right, another part of the, the gospel is rulership and subjugation. All right, Isaiah 60, right? But, but the Christian church will never tell you that because they don't go into those scriptures. They don't know nothing about rulership and subjugation. Somebody going to be ruling and somebody going to be subjugated. Revelations 5 and 11. Can somebody grab that? Man, I'm amped up. Yeah, I'm down. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's 5 and 11. <clears throat> Revelation chapter 5, verse 11, it says, And I beheld and heard a voice of many angels around about the throne, and the beasts, and the elders, and the, and the numbers of them were 10,000 times 10,000, and thousands of thousands. Is it? No. It's a lot. 22 or 26? Uh, let me see. Revelation yeah. 5. About uh, 11 and 5. Uh, 5 and let me see. <clears throat> okay. 9. It's a lot. 9. Uh, 9. Let me jump up to 9. It says, And they sung a, sung a new song, saying, Thou art worthy to take the book and to open the seal thereof, for thou shalt, so like, for thou was slain and has redeemed us. To the most high by the blood by the blood thy blood out of every kindred and tongue and people and nation it's like 10. you keep going uh -huh. and has made us unto our power kings and priests and we shall reign on the, on earth we shall reign on the earth <clears throat> that ain't that ain't in the christian gospel at all, at all. no nah. It's, it's uh, what they call that equality in the Christian. Everybody just be in heaven. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Everybody just be in heaven. All right? But no, we shall reign on the earth. On the earth. Anybody got a uh, piece of that? Yeah, so, um, the, the Christians, like you said, just to add to you, the Christians are actually blinded by light because they, they actually hold the heavenly scriptures, the Bible, and they look at it and they're blind. They actually right. saying that. And that's another thing. Light does blind your eyes. So when they actually, that's why most Christians don't look at it either. They just hold the light, right? They don't actually, they don't <laughs> see it. They don't, it don't dwell within them because they can't like, when you put you, when you look at the sun, right, you're going to get a what? You got to put your hands up, man. And you can liken that into the, to the today's Christians, man. All right? You, they can't see this light. Even if they look in the Bible, they got to close it because what? They can't understand it. And they're always letting those who are in darkness, which are the, 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 the prophets of doom, teach it to them, man. Mm -hmm. Who have no light. But this, so right 3, hold on. So right 3 and 25 says, without eyes thou shalt want light. Profess not the knowledge, therefore thou hast not. See, these Christians and modern day people, they want light. All right? And they try to profess it to you old. Jesus Christ died for my sins. They they are trying to give it to you, or uh, believing in their mind that they're enlightened yet. Right. They're enlightened your spirit, but you are in darkness. So right. if the Lord don't light your candle up, right? Because the Lord gotta light your candle in your spirit. If you don't light your candle, man, you you in gross gross darkness, man. You gotta go. Come, come. Did somebody else have something? Come. Go ahead, brother. The book of Psalms, <laughs> chapter twenty-five and verse. Um, Starting 14, it says, The secret of the Lord is with them that fear him, and he will shoot them his covenant. And ultimately, these people don't they don't have the fear of the Lord in them. That's why they can't, that's why they're blinded by the light. All right. This word, all right, this light that we're talking about, it shy it shies away darkness. All right. Somebody get faithful in the room. Faithful up, man. Like you always say, Kaya, all right, you can't have light shining in darkness because what? The light is gonna put out the it's dog. Put the dog is out. That's right. Yeah. You know, so they they ultimately they can't behold this light. You know, that's why the brothers say you, when when the light do shine on, they put their hand up. You know, figuratively, of course. But um, yeah, the light. The I uh, read one more time. It said, "The secret of the Lord is with them that fear Him, and He will shew them His covenant." And yeah, you got it, brother. You know, just like what you said, uh, in uh, 1 Corinthians uh, 2 and 11, it says, 
For what man knoweth the things of a man, save the spirit of man which is in him? Even so, the things of the Most High knoweth no man but the spirit of the Most High. Now we have received not the spirit of the world, but the spirit which is of the Most High, that we might know the things that are freely given to us of the Most High, which things also we speak, not in the words which man's wisdom teach, but which the Holy Spirit teaches, comparing spiritual things with spiritual things. And those spiritual things is the scriptures of the precept, comparing scripture with scripture. Go ahead, brother. This Psalms 18 and 28, it says, For thou will light my candle, the Lord, which is in all caps, which is Yahweh, my power, will enlighten my darkness. Right. What? Huh. Anybody else have anything? Okay, yes, sir. It's uh, Surah chapter 1, verse 14. To fear Yahweh is the beginning of wisdom, and it was created with the faithful in the womb. See that? All right. All right. So the Bible says in uh, Psalms, I want to say, uh, was it uh, 50 and 17? Let me see. It's Psalms 50 and 17, where it says, uh, the Lord is not in his thoughts. Let me go with that. Let me see. Esau? Oh, you talking about uh, what is that? Not in his thoughts. It's 51 and 20. I think it's 51 and 20. Give me a second. I don't have a 20. Isaiah? No, Psalms. 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 Oh, Psalms. Oh, when, 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 uh, I'm thinking about another one. Let me see. Not in his thoughts. It's 10 and 4. 10 and 4. Uh, uh, Psalms? Yeah. Okay, Psalms. Isaiah. Can you get it, brother? Kind of, I got you. This is uh, Psalms 10, verse 4. The wicked, through the pride of his countenance, will not seek after the Most High. The Most High is not in all his thoughts. Okay. See that? All right. So so we just, the brother just read, all right, that, uh, you know, this truth, all right, is with the faithful in the womb. All right. And um, Psalms 147, we all know that one, right? He showed this word to Jacob, right? That's the, uh, let me get it so I don't mess it up. Hey, back, back it up in uh, Jeremiah chapter 1. I, I ordained me to be a prophet. I knew thee in the womb. God. Again, what you were talking about earlier is the Elohim who were predestinated from the beginning to be in their lives, to have this truth and prophesy this word, and also the, the rest of the elect who are predestinated hey, to be saved as well and understand the scriptures. Con, this is uh, Psalms 147 and 19. He showed his word unto Jacob, his statutes and his judgments unto Israel. He have not dealt so with any nation and asked for his judgments. They have not known them. All right. Praise ye Yahweh. Okay. Um, man. That's, that's uh, I mean, so much can be said about that. I mean, we can go on for, man, forever or not. Let me, uh, let me get back to that. Yeah, that's the exact opposite of Christianity. They yeah. teach that the Lord's word is for everybody. Everybody can make it. Everybody can be saved. And you ask them what, what does salvation mean? They don't know. And back to what Kayat was saying, and they, they're literally blinded by the light. What The light of Satan. <laughs> yeah, that's right. That's the, the, the God of this world. And I got a precept real quick. This is uh, 2 Corinthians 11 and 14. And no marvel, for Satan himself is transformed into an angel of light. And with Christianity, what, love everybody, eat abominable foods, you don't have to follow the law. That's If you, anything that's against the law is what Satanism, do as thou wilt. And they right. see that as light because it, it plays upon their hearts or their minds. And as it says in Jeremiah 17, verse 9, the heart is deceitful above all things, is wicked above all things. Who can know it? If you're just running off of base instincts and don't see what the true light is, you Bugged out like a Christian out here. Bugged out like the majority of this world that's quickly coming to its end and these wicked people in it to their destruction. And, and they, they're, they're so blinded uh, to the point where you can read Romans 9 to you blue in the face. All right? And it go right over their head. And then Paul tells you in uh, Acts 26 chapter when he's standing uh, in front of a gripper. It says, uh, this is uh, Acts 26 and 6. And now I stand and am judged for the hope of the promise made of the Most High unto our fathers, unto which promise are 12 tribes instantly serving the Most High day and night, 
hope to come. For which hope sake King Agrippa, I am accused of the Jews. I mean, so there's so many overwhelming scriptures, all right, but Jake ain't, you know, hey, he's, he's blinded, okay? He's blinded. So do you got anything? No, I was trying to uh, keep this one up in the boat, but I don't know if it kind of go with what you have. Uh, they, didn't, they didn't bought a negative light to Christianity, right? Like the word Christian, they didn't demonize them. Right. It's not even that when you think of a Christian, you cringe like you think of like man, these are these are nine five the demons. These are the nine followers of the Most High, man. Right? When, when the ancient time, when the people saw those following your house, so they look at those Christians, yeah. right? Right. Which symbolized those that actually follow the Lord, which our Lord, his name was never Christ. Because he asked, whom do they call me out there? Right. right? Or who do they say my name is, man? You got it. Think of, you see these Christians today, like the brother went to earlier, they make a mockery yep. of the church, the pastors. He made mockery of the church. He watered down things. You know, you, you, you Jake's. You make all these uh, so-called gospel songs and they're just, no. it's, it's just vanity, man. Everybody right. knows. Oh. Yeah, everybody is pretty much is uh, making mockery and money off, off, off really the Lord, man. Yeah, merchandise. Yeah, they making merchandise of everything. All right, it's big business. You know, and a lot of you are still in that, that kudalini spirit too, man, that serpent spirit. All right, dancing and jigging. Rolling down a goddamn aisle, you yeah. know. <laughs> demonic. Yeah, there's spirits. There's demonic spirits going on. Man. Stagger, but not with wine. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like the brother said, when you when you hear when you hear you people out and about, and you say you're a Christian, you already know what time it is. It's a bug out, man. About to go to church just to get the Christian girls. Yeah, yeah. they bulk, bulk, the bulk of them freaks, man. Freaks. Right. Everybody know that. Everybody know that. But then they get you a good. Wholesome freak. Front, yeah, front, church, man. Yeah, front yeah. row freaks. Yeah, front row. All of them are front row freaks. Yeah. That's the daughter. Yeah. That's the daughter, everybody. And the grown ones too with the big yeah. hats. Yeah. And the brother Kyle yeah. in our in our chat posted a perfect example of a Christian woman. Yeah. I'm guessing this is from one of those date nights. 35 years old, looking for my forever person, <laughs> someone laid back, honest, authentic, sent high morals and values. Beautiful soul, kind, <laughs> gentle, loving, and great with kids. I have two boys and pregnant with another. Come on, man. man. Come on. That's a demon. That's child support. Yeah. That's jail time. And she got the baby, the belly, yeah. pregnant in the pitch. Yeah, that's, that's the end of. That's the, the, the end of from the church, man. All right? Typical. The results of Jesus. Yeah. Christianity, they have felt us. They have spelled us, man. Our people have watched after certain particular religions and ideologies that have basically what? Torn a whole nation of people down, man. Mm -hmm. He gave you Christianity. When you look into the forefathers in which Christianity was created, what I did a video on that with the John Smith guy. Uh, is, is it John Smith? He was, I, yeah, he look, him, look, look him up. We're going to look at the okay. forefathers of Christianity. Go ahead. Go ahead. You got it. This, this is uh, Lamentations 4 and 17. See, beautiful. This is as for us, our no. eyes have yet filled for yeah. our vain help. Right. Vain means empty. Mm. Okay? So our people have watched out for something that, that was empty, first and foremost. All right? Help from empty. Egypt, they have went down to Egypt for help. All right? We, they have went to their enemies and looked for help. Believe that. And it says, in our watching, yeah. we have watched for a nation that yeah. cannot save us. We watched for a nation that couldn't save us. All right? Because believing in Jesus Christ, the Lord going to kill you, uh, is not optional with the Lord. That's not his name. That's not, he, that's Jesus Christ was it was created. It's a is a is an idol. Jesus Christ is an idol, man. Okay, go ahead. And I can make a quick point. People, the church people know that. Like if you go back into if you go into the actual history, you know the letter J wasn't created until the 1500s. So even, you know, I ask my people questions like that. So what was the Lord's name before the 1500s if the letter J just was invented in the 1500s? And you hear question marks. It's crickets, it's crickets man. <laughs> Jeffrey, yeah. Yeah. Well, that's what I call it. My Jesus. Yeah. yeah. God. And now you know what they say now. The pastor, they had a, they had, what, last year they had a, a preacher's convention. They said, you got to watch those people that are always bringing out a lot of scriptures. <laughs> and I'm like, yeah. y'all don't bring
Cause I know script. That's right. crazy. That's yeah. crazy. Well, you know what? It's so much <laughs> truth come now. You know, if a man suppose the game is God and then you're supposed to withdraw yourself from it. Right. right? For God is with contentment is great game. All right, so so right now, you know, you in, in Christianity, you got the prosperity gospel is still there. Mm -hmm. Job, car, spouse, house. Okay, that's that's the big four. Job, car, spouse, house. If you don't have one of those big four, you know what I'm saying? You, you come to church every Sunday trying yeah. to get it. You know, so it, it, it's it, you know, so so these, these pastors they look stupid now because there's so much uh, scriptures coming out from uh, the men of the Lord. Mm -hmm. uh, this is uh, Jeremiah, the fifth chapter, and it reads, this is 5 and 26. For among my people are found wicked men. They lay wait as he that set his snares, and they set a trap. They catch men. As the cage is full of birds, so are their houses full of deceit. Therefore, they have become great and waxen rich. Okay? They are waxen fat. They shine. Yea, they overpass the deeds of the wicked. They judge not the cause, the cause of the fatherless, yet they prosper, and the right of the needy do they not judge. Shall I not visit for these things, say Yahweh? Shall not my soul be advanced on such a nation as this? You see, Jake sat there and let uh, Esau teach him about that 501c3. Mm -hmm. uh, any of you brothers look at that 501c3 and what you can't say? Yeah, it's, 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 like, it's like 60 things, right? <laughs> that you can't say, you know, when you call yourself preaching the truth, all right? Um, abortion is going on, can't talk about that. I mean, he got a gag order on you. And, and here's the thing, all right? When 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 Esau gets tired of you, he gonna go back, all right? So because even, even though even though Jake is lost, he still will preach about certain things that is scriptural, right? O -o about you know you know whether it's abortion or you know same sex whatever, all right? But Esau would make that payment, dude. All that money that you've been uh, getting tax free, mm -hmm. he can say, you know what? You didn't, you didn't stay with this covenant, you know, this agreement. I need all that money right now. And if you ain't got that money, you know where you're going. Jail, Straight to jail. <clears throat> Straight to jail. Covenant with the heat. Anything over ten thousand is with government. If you are, you are to go to jail behind it, you know, with the IRS and everything. Which all this in the twine of each other, man. Mm -hmm. You could cross all your T's, dot all your I's. You could just make something up. Oh, back in 2013, you, you forgot to write this down. You gotta lock it up. Why would you make a deal with somebody like that? This is my money. You mean they don't have it. Yeah, it's coming like that. Yeah. The scripture tell you never to turn back in. Never. Never. So. <clears throat> yeah. so, so you so you got these J's coming on the platform, coming on YouTube. And they're insinuating, you know, that we're preaching hate. We're not preaching hate at all. You know what I'm saying? We're preaching love. <laughs> we're, we're, yeah. we're preaching love. Don't break. It's, uh, it's the book of Isaiah, chapter 5, verse 20. It says, Woe unto them that call evil good and good evil, that put darkness for light and light for darkness, that put bitter for sweet and sweet for bitter. That's Christianity in a nutshell. They say everything in the Bible, all the commandments, the laws, and the statutes, those are evil. That's the Old Testament. That's evil. And then everything that's wicked, they say is good. It's good. It's good to have a, a sodomite play an organ. It's good to have women pass through. All of that's evil. They put in dark for light and light for darkness. Hey, I, on a, they got a street down here called St. Charles with a church on it that I pass from time to time that says, hey, we have a, an alphabet pastor here proudly on the on the front with the rainbow and everything. You like that? Darkness, man. And yeah, it's a yeah. woman at that. Yeah, that other bug out that was on, uh, I think I probably put it in the WhatsApp, saying that the most high is uh, trans, the most high is LG. That was way there, right? Like, like come mm -hmm. on, bro. That's the money. Man, the Lord about to slay waste and put a nuclear fire on you, man. Uh, mm -hmm. um, I got a... Uh, manager that I'm training right now and uh, she's been married all right, to her wife for 23 years. She talked about how her steps is ordered by the Lord. Oh, what? Her steps <laughs> is ordered by the Lord. Well, they are. <laughs> yeah. Right? They are. They yeah. are. Uh, and uh, what else she say? Oh, she always saying something about her past. Her past say this and her past say that. Okay. All right. 
I, I just listen. I ain't got no correction for it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But uh, let me get this real quick. Uh, and this is uh, in moments. Then if you, if any brothers have something about some uh, apples. Um, it says, uh, this is Romans 1 and 18. For the wrath of the Most High is revealed from heaven against all ungodliness and unrighteousness of men who hold the truth and unrighteousness, because that which may be known of the Most High is manifest in them, for the Most High have showed it unto them. For the invisible things of him from the creation of the world are clearly seen, being understood by the things that are made, even his eternal power and Godhead, so that they are without excuse, because that when they knew the Most High, they glorified him not as the Most High, neither were thankful, but became vain in their imagination, and their foolish heart was darkened. Professing themselves to be wise, they became fools, and changed the glory of the uncorruptible power into an image made like to corruptible man, and to birds and four-footed beasts and creeping things. Wherefore, the Most High also gave them up to uncleanliness through the, through the lust of their own hearts, to do what? To dishonor their own bodies between themselves, who changed the truth of the Most High into a lie, and worship and serve the creature more than the Creator, who was blessed forever. Amen. For this cause, the Most High gave them up unto vile affections, but even their women did change the natural use into that which is against nature. And likewise, also the men, leaving the natural use of the woman, burned in their lusts one toward another, men with men, working that which is unseemly and receiving in themselves that recompense of their error, which was meat or which was good. And even as they did not like to retain the Most High in their knowledge, the Most High gave them up or gave them over to a reprobate mind to do those things which are not convenient, being filled with all unrighteousness and fornication and wickedness and covetousness, maliciousness, full of envy, murder, debate, deceit, malignancy, whisperers, backbiters, hater of the Most High, despiteful, proud, boasters, inventors of evil things, and disobedient to parents, without understanding, covenant breakers, without natural affection, implacable, they won't, you know, you can't agree, they'll never agree to anything, unmerciful, who knowing the judgment of the Most High, and they which commit such things are worthy of death, not only do the same, but have pleasure in them that do them. I think the back that part up too. You know, be ready. This is James chapter 1, verse 13. It says, Let no man say when he is tempted, I am tempted of the Lord, or Yahweh. For Yahweh cannot be tempted with evil, neither tempteth he any man. But every man is tempted when he is drawn away of his own lust and enticed. Then when lust has conceived, it bringeth forth sin, and sin, when it is finished, bringeth forth death. That's right. Yeah. All right, so so with, with these with these people, you know, this into 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 that, you know, uh, the Bible says it started off as idolatry, and their foolish heart was darkened, so they can what dishonor themselves. All right, so so when we start, you know, even when, when we just uh, uh, those of us you know who know the truth and, and understand that we've been here to say our first time, when we look at those spirits and those people that are struggling with those demons, we know where it came from. Those were the big idolaters. I don't know the back of you. Yes, sir. This is a Wisdom of Solomon 14. I'm a, I'll start at 23. For whilst they slew their children in sacrifices or used secret ceremonies or made revelings of strange rites, they kept neither lives nor marriages any longer undefiled. Some of the biggest adulterers are in the Christian church. That's a good switch. But either one slew another traitorously some of the biggest murderers out there follow Jesus. A gangster in Bloods and Crips follow Jesus. Oh, oh, cartel. Cartel follow oh, Jesus. Yeah, yeah. Heavy on that. Or grieved him by adultery so that there reigned in all men without exception blood, manslaughter, theft. Hey, then, then where's your tide, sister? While your lights are out, while they got a private jet in a, in a, in a three story house and dissimulation. Corruption, unfaithfulness, unfaithfulness, tumults, perjury, disquieting of good men, forgetfulness of good turns, defiling of souls, changing of kind, a hey, alphabet people, 
alphabet pastors, disorder in marriages, adultery, and shameless uncleanness, the fact that that point you made had all started with idolatry, for the worshiping of idols not to be named is the beginning, the cause, and the end of all evil. <laughs> Well, I got well, I got put priests out there for the Romans, you know. <laughs> for the child, that was perfect. That was perfect. That was right there. That's that's it right there. Right. They had a nerve to they, they had a nerve to scoff them. You know, they gonna bust. <laughs> man, but you know back in the day they used to say they gonna bust hell wide open, but man. <laughs> you know, of course we ain't believing in that doctrine, but yeah, they, they, they got all kind of, uh, they got all kind of, uh, 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 I see them waiting for them, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. And they had a, and they had a nerve to, to be scoffing, you know? I had to go to, you I got anything go about Chad? Two years ago. I got, I got, I got <coughs> this is a, <laughs> yeah, this is a second Edwards, chapter nine, verse nine. It says, then shall they be in a pitiful case which now have abused my ways, and they that have cast them away despitefully shall dwell in torments. For such as in their life have received benefits that have not known me, and they that have loathed my law, while they have yet liberty, and when as yet a place of repentance was open unto them, understood not, but despised it. The same must know it after death by pain. Mm -hmm. Like you said, they got an ICD awake model, man, because they took this time of liberty or right, the opportunity to actually repent, you know, and, and return to their power, but they despised it. You know, they, they fanned the hand at the most high, and his prophets as men teaching his word, you know, and like you said, brother, this is an ICD awake, you know, mm -hmm. if they make it that far. Yeah. And those missiles are going to destroy the so called Christian nation, yeah. the so called biggest Christian nation on the face of the earth. So, what does that say? about the, this Christianity that these people follow in America, our, mainly our people follow in America. Hey, Christians don't want knowledge, they want possessions, man. Yeah. Let's just be clear about things. Y'all yeah. want possessions, man. Yeah. All right, y'all want prosperity. Y'all want things that forward the world. Houses, like you say, houses, cars. They want what the pastor got in Christianity, man. Let's stop playing games. Give him that. They want gifts, yeah. right? Which this what destroy the heart, right? And it's, it's, it's what that show that show passes the LA stood on for two seasons, man. Cause you niggas were looking at the Ferraris and the big houses and all the jewelry that niggas had, man. The prosperity doc, okay. Gif Giftly, they want a giftly milk. They want a consolation, man. Yeah. And that's why the Lord give them what they desire. And most Christians don't even get what they desire. They've been in church forty years mm -hmm. and they never even accomplished the house or the car. Or the the success, the career, the job. All right, you have some of them that that's just scumbags, and most most Christians are scumbags, man. Yeah. That's called a spade a spade. Some of the worst people you ever meet on the face of the earth. They're, they're Christian, exactly, yeah. and their agenda stink, man. <laughs> Got a stink ass agenda, man. And that's what the Lord did. They, they perverted to the Lord. They pervert judgment. They pervert justice. They let pedophilia go on in the church, yeah. right? Don't speak out on it. They eat catfish. And these are devils, man. They, they top level devils, man. And that's why they sit in the front of the church praising God and whooping and hollering, man. Go ahead, man. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Right. Now, this is Isaiah 65 and 2. It says, I have spread out my hands all the day to a rebellious people, yeah. which walketh in the way that was not good. Right. Which rebel means to walk against our Lord. And y'all walk against the scriptures. Right, y'all walk against the the, 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 the statues, the judgments, cause y'all want to eat. Y'all want to go against the dietary law. Oh, Lord, Lord, they too God made everything for us to eat. It is it to be all good at Thanksgiving. All right, like y'all can know what's going to go ahead. It says after their own thoughts. After their own what? After their own thoughts. Many have been deceived by their own vain opinion. The Christ of Sirach, um, three. All right, they have been deceived by their own vain opinion. And opinion is not faith based. That's the problem with the world. People that substitute their opinions for facts now, man. All right? Right, facts is faith. And it's it's one and the same. Facts, 
the time is fake. Go ahead, bro. Yeah. Verse 3, it says, right. A people that provoking me to anger continually to my face, that sacrifice it in gardens and burn it incense upon altars of brick. Idolatry, <laughs> adultery, which they uplift in these holy houses. Like you said, these cultic temples. That's right. All right. right. It said about the groves in the uh in the houses. Y'all can always go into it. I have more to go in it once. Right. Nobody would it say about the yeah. groves. Yeah, 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 you know what I'm talking about. You look at the structure of how the, the buildings are made, especially the, those old churches, man. Abinet, Abinese, Abin, how you say it? Abin, Abinese, 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 the sinners are groomed. They look like uh, architecture. The architecture look like robes, man, which our people used to do. All right, heavily into uh, idolatry, man. Especially, especially in the south. Really, all over, man. You know, these devils and and still that madness all over. So our people, are, they're gotten by it, man. They and they make every, anything an idol. Rappers, money, all right, cars, houses, all of it is is is, 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 a, is a contributor to worshiping idols, man. Oh. All right, now people like the scripture say our people love to have it so. All right, you can't, you can't, you see it on a, on a daily basis. You see Negroes walking around with oh, onks. That's another thing. The damn mm -hmm. onk around their neck. They, they worship uh, crosses, yeah. Mary, Jesus, Jesus, peace, yeah, yeah. diamond studded, <laughs> yeah, Cesar Borgia, you name it, man. All right, but it is, it is what it is about people. You guys, you got more, you got more, yeah. You got more. <clears throat> Verse 4 says. Which remain among the graves and lodge in the monuments, which eat swine's flesh <laughs> and brought of abominable things and, in their vessels. And the Christian love pork. That's why the Lord said He gonna kill you eating pork in Isaiah, man. When He come back, if He catch you eating pork, man. Yeah. All right, the Lord not gonna have mercy on that. That's abomination to Him. <laughs> and when they had uh, family members, so you telling me? <laughs> Lord will kill me over a little piece of yes. meat. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes, he will. That's about the oh, world. Especially, you, about the world. Yeah, especially you niggas down here, man. You niggas down here, you you some you some Bobby Boucher ass niggas, man. <laughs> you niggas find shit, walk across the road, get ran over you. I know niggas that keep a shovel in the air. <coughs> Same here. Okay, so <coughs> niggas keep a shovel on deck, man. Just in case they see they see a raccoon, uh, a possum, that alligator. Nigga keep out. alligator. They throwing it in the back, man. What you gonna do with that? She got some good eating. Eat <laughs> <laughs> ain't been out here that long. He ain't that hot either. And with yeah. that BP <laughs> spill, yeah. with that BP spill, Jake was, was getting all them dead shrimp and fish, yeah. scooping them up. <laughs> Come up with like, I know, I know this, you know, one brother, Jesus. his uncle, his uncle, his uncle, his uncle ate them, ate them damn shrimp from the BP all spilled and, and burned the whole through his intestines, man. God damn. All right. Oh, Almost took him out of here. The shrimp got good right? cool out of here, man. That you know, they had a DP oil spill in the garden yeah. scope. Yeah. And it was like people were saying stay away from all the you know the the, uh, the fishes and shrimp. He yeah. still had, ate some of that shit. And the shit burned the whole through his intestines. Damn. You know? Jay gonna eat out the, the chem the chemicals that waste from Ohio coming. Jay gonna go eat out that one. Jay gonna go fish out. Yeah. Jay still man, I'm gonna eat, man. No one's gonna bless me. He gonna look out for me. Yeah, you were, and you yeah. tripping when you get a fish that got five heads and ten horns on on the goddamn yeah, that <laughs> walks up to you when you yeah. fishing for it to walk out of the water. Yeah, <laughs> they don't want that shit, man. You know, <laughs> nobody wants. Like I said, pick me. Yeah, this is done, man. <laughs> pick me fish. <laughs> yeah, you're gonna jump in the boat and drive the boat for you niggas, man. <laughs> All right, you got, you got more. I got, right? I got. I got. I'm gonna hit the the point because this brother had made a point um earlier about so, how. So, the, the, um, you say something about this. They what they do stink to the Lord. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. This go back it up. The Lord, they are gentle stink. Yeah, they are gentle stink. Yeah. Now, verse five it says, "Which say, stand by thyself, come mm -hmm. not near me, for I am holier than thou. Mm -hmm. These are a smoke in my nose, yeah, a yeah. fire that burned all the day." And anybody that ever had smoke in their nose, that shit gets your attention, uh, attention, man, real quick. Yeah, make your eyes red. Yeah, you got your mind Ooh. chopping around. Uh -huh. Your vision blurry. It yeah, don't yeah, a lot of shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, in fact, everything in your spirit almost. That when some get in your nose and eyes, it's, it's, it's in your around your spirit, man. Your heart, where your heart lies, that is gonna be problematic. But these Christmas and look at the Christmas they're putting in their heart, in their literal spirit, right? Debt, debt, abomination, all those things that the Lord is. Go ahead. 
No, I was saying that's crazy. I had a deja vu about this, man. This whole oh, what happened, to everything. Like, yeah, I remember. I ain't know who this was on Saturday. You know? uh, yeah. I remember. I remember. I know. I remember. Yeah, yeah, bro. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's crazy. This right here. Yeah, this this whole little moment when he that's said what he said, I looked this way, and yeah. man, I want to look at the thing, but <laughs> in a, you know, in a in a deja vu, I couldn't see who was on my side. It was like it was blurry, you know. It's yes. crazy, man. Yes. <clears throat> It was already set in heaven, you know. Yeah, that's it right. 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 It's re- you you living it up. It. Like we just catching up to it. Yeah, yeah. Right. yeah, yeah. we catching up to it every day. Go ahead. Kind of. And this is this is, this is you yeah. know the recompense for all those things that we <laughs> named. This verse six it says, Behold, it is written before me. I will not keep silence. But I will recompense, even recompense into their bosom. Right. Your iniquities and the iniquities of your fathers together, said the Lord, which have burned incense upon the mountains and blasphemed me <clears throat> upon the hills. Therefore will I measure their <clears throat> former work unto, into their bosom. Yeah, and that's why the curses are on us to be. That's right. And our people wonder why they're still in the ghetto, man. We wonder why we still get sick, man. And why we, we wonder why we the last high first fight. We wonder why we poised. We got bags with holes in it, man. God. Right? Because you don't want to turn from your ways, man. It tell you, Jeremiah, that your own ways have procured these things up to you, man. Right. You did that to you. I told y'all, don't do it. Or this going to happen. Or you're going to get the, 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 the ladder in a dude around me, man. And man, are we a, a nation torn apart? All right, by the ladder and a dude around me right now, man. The curses are still on us to this day. And Christians are, they're making themselves wild in the mind, man. Okay, they're rolling in the mud. Anybody got anything else? Yeah, yeah. that's all. Okay, we'll end it on the <clears throat> This is a. Uh, oh, okay. This is Amos, just to back what you brought up. This is Amos chapter 5, I'm going to start at 21. I hate. I despise your feast days, and I will not smell in your solemn assemblies. Though ye offer me burnt offerings and your meat offerings, I will not accept them, neither will I regard the peace offerings of your fat beasts. Yeah, and we we just get out of some of those those uh, <clears throat> satanic uh, holidays you people uh, partake in. Especially Jake, man. Y'all really sit there and hold hands and bow your heads and thinking that the Lord is, is, is accepting the abomination, you got ham on the you got ham on the table, you got shitlings, all right, shrimp, gumbo, whatever else you you you, you need to eat it. You, you it, it's just wickedness, man. And the Lord not down with it. <coughs> and brother, brother quoted earlier <coughs> Isaiah 66, man. The Lord gonna kill a lot of you that uh, eat the abomination, man. Preferably the swine. All right, the shrimps, the crabs, the oysters. Now this brother here just got down. He's he was he was, he was Tell him you was at, uh, what's the name of the place? Acme. He was at Acme. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> you know, I, you know, it's, 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 it's awful shit. They got awful shit. Yeah, yeah, so, so I, everywhere you go, it's awful, but it's abomination. Yeah. yeah. So I stood outside for yeah. about 15 minutes. Yeah. I got up in there. Only thing they had on the menu for me was, uh, uh Steak. a roast beef yeah. and, uh, turkey po' boy. That's that. But I had to sit in front of the brother, <laughs> shut the oysters. Oh, yeah. yeah. So he, he was, you know, he, he was of the Greekish fashion. He had hair all down his back, you know. <laughs> he and then uh, when I told him what I wanted, you know what I'm saying, he kind of had that little look on his face like, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, you don't do it, you don't do it. Yeah, you know. Hey, down here, they got, <laughs> they got billboards for this acne place, all with Jake on it. One with the big, fat, greasy Jake opening his <laughs> mouth, eating a shrimp po' boy. Yeah. Another one with the Jake eating some crap. Yeah. And they know what they be doing, man. Come on. All right, but the Lord not the Lord not with that shit, man. All right, and you hate us because we bring it out. All right, you 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 literally hate us because we don't even fashion ourselves to even eat it, man. Yeah, it's like he had a problem that I didn't eat none of that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. that is not his or his. How you ain't from the you don't eat shrimp, crawfish, crawfish. You missing out on the best foods. Yeah, that's it, man. You did that, done that, man. You ever see on YouTube where they have two uh, fish tanks for water? Mm-hmm. It's all dark and dirty in one, and then the other one got the uh, oysters and clams in it. Mm-hmm. It's clear, you can see through it. It's just there to filter the water, man. Right, the most right, that's why the water's out there. Black, black is midnight, man. Mm-hmm. All right? 
But go ahead, go ahead. Uh, one more verse. Yeah, one more verse. Yeah, this is hey, this right here shows that the most high doesn't mm -hmm. like and is sick of those goddamn Christian songs or cat and Baptist bullshit it's songs noise. that you Jake's saying. I believe he called it noise. There's another scripture where he called it noise, man. You know? <laughs> All the rap music and shit. Back then, the people of the Isaac Brothers, the Spinners, uh, 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 Marvin Gaye, you know, all, we go on and on. It was actually playing live bands and music. All right, instrumental, with, yeah, with those, lyrics, yeah, those instrumentals and those trumpets and stuff. Well, even with music they did back then, this shit today is just screeching, hollering music and mumble, mumble rap, man, drill rap, fentanyl rap, yeah. Yeah, it's, it, it, like I say, we don't even. I don't. I'm not into that shit, man. I don't know. These brothers, no, that shit. Oh, yeah, that's man. that's high garbage. That's 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 you know, and it's it's to the point where it's not even. We're not even into. We we, we can't tell you nobody new. We don't really know nobody like that. You know? Go ahead, uh. verse twenty-three. Take thou away from me the noise of thy songs. Yep. For I will not hear the melody of thy vials. Yeah, we're going. Go ahead. I was, I was done after uh, Dos Effects. When Dos Effects came out, I was done with rap music. Yeah, this is going to back up everything all you brothers are saying. It's uh, verse 91 and verse 41. It says, Moreover, King Antiochus wrote to his whole kingdom that all should be one people. And Antiochus, of course, is an Edomite that yeah. came into power right before evils were spread on the earth. It says that all should be one people. What, what religion says we're all one people? Let's all come together. What does that sound like today, man? That's Christianity. It says, and everyone should leave his laws so all the heathen agree according to the commandment of the king. Yea, many also of the Israelites can say to his religion and sacrifice unto idols and profane the Sabbath, which Christians do today. For the king had sent letters by messengers unto Jerusalem and the cities of Judah that they should follow the strange laws of the land. Christianity tell, tell you to celebrate Halloween, Easter. Thanksgiving, Easter, the, the holidays of the heathen. And forbid burnt offerings and sacrifice and drink offerings in the temple, and that they should profane the Sabbaths and festival days and pollute the sanctuary and holy people, the Israelites. All right, Christianity pollutes us. It says, set up altars and groves and chapels of idols and sacrifice swine's flesh and unclean beasts. All right, having, having Easter parties and, and crawfish boils in the church. Fish, uh, fish, fish fries, fries. yeah. yeah. Mac macaroni and cheese with bacon bits in it. Yeah, that's wicked as hell, man. It's all going on in the so-called church. Yeah. Uh, I just want to make one point before you know before we close out. Um, in uh, Second Maccabees, you you had the uh, model with the seven seven sons, oh, so and uh, you know uh, those those boys were disassembled because they wouldn't eat, you know, uh, you know oh, unclean yes. abominations. So you, you think the Lord, you know, and, and this is for the Christians out there, you know, you know, who ain't never heard of the apocrypha, you know, but, but if you read it, you think the Lord, you know, let them go through that so you can eat a ham sandwich. If I can say real quick, they had a brother your age that wouldn't even eat fake swine. Uh, just so the young men wouldn't say, okay, it's an elder, he's eating swine, it's okay to do it. He'd rather die than, than eat fake swine, man. That right. integrity that they had, that, that, that them young men, seven brothers of the Maccabees, and I think <coughs> Even mother, mother, yeah. she okay. went out. She went out, man. You know. Go ahead. Yeah. You gonna say something? I'm just gonna say, when you read stories like that, like they something that a, a modern day Jake Christian would take as the littlest thing. Oh, you don't eat pork. They just to see the integrity that those those men and women went through. The deaths they died to keep faithful to the Most High just makes you even more disgusted at you Jakes out there. And it's why we we, we we revel at the thought of y'all getting put to death very soon. That's right. And, yeah. and that's why Esau tried to hide it, you know. His wickedness is just ridiculous, so vile, you know. That's why he hide, try to hide it, you know. You, you pulling people's skin apart because you making them try to eat something, you know, that's against, you know, their power. Uh, so he want to hide himself and all, all wrong he done, done, but it's all right. Yeah. Um, that was it. Okay. All right. So, well, will that was edifying. Until next time, we'll give all praises, glory, gifts, and honor to the Lord. The elders, apostles, GMS, and peace and safety. Peace and.
What are you gonna say? Salutation. Salutation. That's in the safety. Say right too. Yeah, that too. All right. To the whole full let. To the sincere. Until next time. Shalom. 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 Shalom.